Welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am Pete Yorsky, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. And in this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at Drupal's comment system. Uh, specifically, I'm going to show you how to theme the comments uh, submitted date uh, and username so that it's a, it's a little bit prettier than what comes straight out of the Drupal box. Uh, a lot of the output sometimes isn't what we like. So I'll show you how to override that. And we're also going to take a look at a cool little module called Comment Notify, which allows users on your site to subscribe to uh, comment follow-ups, any replies to their own comments, or follow the comment thread that's going on on a specific node, such like if you maybe commented on a Drupal video tutorial and you wanted to follow the comments that came out of that. So, um, let's dive right into it. You'll see here, I'm on my TWD sandbox, and I've created a comment, and right beside it, I've got my date, uh, dash anonymous, and it looks pretty ugly. Um, if you head over to my site, not that it's amazing or anything, but I've got it a little bit differently with a uh, username and then uh, I guess our posted on date. I should probably change it up to make it grammatically correct, but anyways, for another tutorial. So let's dive right into it. In order to change this up, uh, this is going to be themable output. So we have to figure out what theme override we're going to use in our template.php file. Uh, if you don't know what that means, definitely post a comment and we'll go a little bit in depth into it. But uh, essentially, the theme system allows us to grab theme hooks, and we can uh, override themable content. Uh, it's the proper way to do a module, so all of our core modules will have that. Let's head over to api.drupal.org, and you'll see I've already cheated a bit. I'm a little bit ahead of us, but let's look for theme comment. Uh, I did not want to provide us with a autocomplete. So we'll head back to Drupal.org and get that autocomplete command. Make sure we're on Drupal 6, because this is a Drupal 6 tutorial. So theme, yeah, there we go, comment, submitted, right? Because we want to theme when somebody submits their comment. So you'll see here, theme comment submitted only takes uh, one, uh, I don't know, is that a parameter argument, uh, the comment. So we're going to copy that. And again, we're going to cheat a little bit. Um, rather than just copy it, we'll take this actual function, this example function. Um, this is the same one that's used actually in the Garland theme. And luckily enough, that's the theme that I'm using. So if you were overriding this, this function would be your theme name, underscore comment, underscore submitted. Um, because I'm using Garland, I haven't uh, actually installed my own theme. I'm going to be overriding Garland, which is not a good idea. You never want to hack core. But... Uh, for a time saver, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to leave this, but again, if this were my site, you know, it would be like Toronto Website Developer, right, as my theme name. Um, but it's not, so we'll leave that. And this is the function that we that we get for comments submitted. And you'll see that it actually returns an array. And this array is, uh, you know, passed to the T function, right, so it can be translated. Um, but you'll see here there's two tokens. There's username and there's date and time. And both of those are given a value. Um, so you'll see for username, it's actually passed through our theming system. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong in the form, in uh, the comments, but this username actually comes out of the user module. So what it'll do is it'll take um, the submitted name and it will translate into that into or sorry transform that into a link back to somebody's site. So on your site, uh, you can configure your comments so that the user has to leave their name, email address, and website. Um, this will then take their name and it'll turn into a hyperlink back to their site. Uh, this is a good thing if you want to help people promote uh, you know, their site through backlinks. Uh, you know, you can, rather than put your name, sometimes I'll put Peter, you know, uh, uh, a symbol and then Toronto Website Developer. And then that Toronto Website Developer gets, is an anchor back to my site. It's a, a keyword and Google will pick up those keywords with links back. That's how you kind of choose those anchors. Anyways, beside the point, that's search engine optimization. Nonetheless. We're going to leave this as theme, username, comment. That actually will pull out the comment name. But here in the date time, we're going to change this. And format date is actually a Drupal function. So if you head back over to api.drupal.org and we go to format date, you'll see that this function takes a bunch of different arguments. So we have timestamp, the type, the format, time zone, the whole thing. Right now it's only using timestamp. So obviously not all of our parameters are needed. But we're gonna we're gonna pull in these three. So let's go ahead and we'll we'll steal these two. Because we already have the third one there. And let's go timestamp. Type is gonna be custom. 
system and our, our format, again, we're just going to confirm. You can go to uh, php.net, just search for php uh, date, and you'll see you get all the, uh, all the actual letter representations of what you're looking for. So I'm going to go with capital D it's for Monday, and then I think it's capital M, small d, capital Y. So let's head back over here. So I said capital D, comma, Tuesday, uh, January, and then we said small d, comma, y. And here, this string right here, that's actually what we're seeing. So it says date and time username. If we go back here, we go. To, we have the date, time, dash username. So that's the ugly text output that we have. We're going to change that up to uh, username. Post the date, comment on, and that should have our quotes on it. Post it, comment on, and again, we'll throw out the date, time. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. And I am getting an error here. Why am I getting an error here? Because this should be like that. Because we're not actually putting in PHP variables. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Now, if you didn't have this function, uh, you just created function, you know, your theme name underscore comment submitted, you would have to go in and clear your cache. Uh, easy way to do that, I don't have devel obviously because I'm not logged in, would be to use devel, clear cache. Um, if you don't, it won't pick up that new theme function and you won't see your, your changes here. But because Drupal already knows that I have that theme function, I've changed it up, it's already looking for it. You'll see here, anonymous posted a comment on Monday, January 24th, 2011, right? Looks a lot cleaner. So that's how you theme your comments. Um, definitely change up your site, make it a little bit more uh, user friendly, kind of identifies you're not using Drupal out of the box and you know, shows people you kind of know what you're doing or you know, lack thereof, sometimes in my case. Anyways, uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up quickly a terminal and I'm just going to go to uh, c slash cc rush rush at twd uh, DL comment notify. So I'm just going to download uh, the comment notify module. Great. So it is downloaded and we'll just quickly enable this. While we do that, we can log back into our site. Great. So with that, we will go to our permissions. We'll scroll down just a little bit, just past comment, subscribe to comments. For both authenticated and anonymous, up to you if you want to let both do it. Uh, I'm going to, we'll hit save permissions. Now I'm going to log out. And when I go back to content, let know that I can put a comment on. Let me scroll down. You'll see I've got my regular fields, name, email, homepage, subject, comment. Down at the bottom, notify me when new comments are posted. All comments or replies to my comment. So that's it. That's how you do it. You hit go ahead and save. Allows users to stay up to date on the conversation, especially if they're asking you a question, like I get a lot on my site. Um, now, again, on my video tutorials, you'll be able to notify yourself. I didn't realize I hadn't uh, enabled this for anonymous users, but it's there now. Um, so please use it. Uh, use it on your sites. Post a comment. Let me know if this was helpful. Uh, that's it. Try to keep it short and sweet. Should have another couple of video tutorials coming out soon. Uh, I'm looking at panels probably in one of the next few ones. Um, and maybe actions and triggers. So again, hope this tutorial was useful, um, and let me know uh, if you want anything specific in the comments. Appreciate it. Take care.